I, as I mentioned, these are the first observation evidence of a stellar mass black hole that is more massive than about 30 times the mass of the sun. And by studying these signals, we also was enabled, you know, able to test the predictions of Einstein's theory in a regime of extreme gravity and extreme velocities. Uh, I mentioned that uh, almost all predictions of Einstein's theory have been verified by a number of astronomical tests and laboratory tests. But all these tests are in a regime involving weak gravitational wave fields and slow motion, as in the case of solar systems. But before they emerge in this binary system, these black holes must be traveling at speeds close to the speed of light. So, and the gravitational fields involved are enormous because they are extremely massive and compact systems. So their gravitational fields that they, they, they feel are, are enormous, which is not cannot be realized, realized in any other uh, um, astronomical city. And uh, the fact that these observations agreed with the prediction of Einstein's theory is a remarkable test that Einstein's theory is able to describe strong gravity pretty well. And uh, of course, the the uh, founding fathers of, of LIGO, Ray Weiss, Barry Barrett, and Kip Thorne, uh, received the Nobel Prize in 2017 for their uh, decisive contribution to the LIGO experiment and the observation of gravity space. Uh, before the lack of time, I will uh, uh, sort of skip through these of the other uh, observations that uh, LIGO has made. It's, this is a multi messenger observation of a colliding binary neutron star system which was observed in March 2017. One remarkable thing is that this signal, which is the gravitational wave signal produced by the in spiral and the coalescence of two neutron stars, was not only measured in the, in the, in the gravitational wave window, but also it also produced a flash of electromagnetic radiation which is observed by a variety of electromagnetic telescopes starting from gamma rays all the way up to radio. So it's a remarkable uh, set of observations, which involved uh, you know, hundreds of telescopes across the, the world as well as in space, and uh, really inaugurated what is called the multi-messenger astronomy, which basically involves observing the same phenomena using a multiple of messengers, including gravitation waves uh, and different frequencies of electromagnetic radiation, and possibly in the future, neutrinos and other astroparticles. And uh, this uh, such such. Um, collision of neutron stars is a remarkable test bed for uh, a variety of aspects of physics and astrophysics, including not only astrophysics and cosmology and, and, and gravity, but also fields like uh, uh, nuclear physics. Because uh, if a neutron star is basically a, a rare laboratory to study uh, nuclear physics in, in extreme densities. And we have started scratching the surface of, of this field with this uh, first observations of these neutron star system, but in the next years, the upcoming years, we hope to actually get some really interesting results which constrain the state of highly dense nuclear matter. So, uh, I want to sort of stress that the gravitational wave astronomy has only begun. These observations are really the really very beginning of, of, of gravitational observations. So, you know, it's like analogous to what Eddington has done in 1990, right? Eddington's first uh, motivation was to test the prediction of Einstein's theory. But eventually it became an entire field by itself, the study of gravitational lensing. And has become a powerful tool to explore the universe. Because by studying gravitational lensing, you could actually map out the distribution of dark matter and a variety of things. Similarly, these gravitational wave observations are going to be a, a powerful tool for exploring uh, different aspects of the physics and astrophysics and cosmology uh, in the next uh, uh, decades. So I don't want to list out the details, but I'm happy to share the slides for, uh, with you if you, have, if you are interested in the details. So what is the future? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the LIGO and Virgo 